Nvidia has officially dropped DLSS 4, which can be used across all RTX GPUs from the 20 series all the way to the 50 series. And it greatly enhances the visual quality of quite a lot of games. When you're running at performance or ultra performance, it now actually has the graphical fidelity of what quality presets we're offering. And you can take full advantage of this right now across a lot of games. Some of them automatically enabled it with the Nvidia update. However, there are some games like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that did not, but we can manually overwrite that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of that in this video. Yes, in this video, we're gonna show you guys how to install DLSS 4, but I wanna let you know that for at least Final Fantasy VII Rebirth's implementation of DLSS, I don't really see any benefit to it. You'll see right now, I switch back to DLSS 3. I get overall better performance on average 10 to 15 frames more on DLSS 3 rather than DLSS 4. And that's a natural thing that's supposed to happen with DLSS 4. What essentially you're getting out of that is the performance mode would technically give you the same quality of DLSS 3 in quality for DLSS 4 in performance, if that makes any sense. Because technically you get the same visual quality or something comparable to that, but more frames, right? But in FF7 Rebirth, I don't think it really matters too much. So I'm showing you right now an OptiScale. You'll see on the bottom right here, it says I'm currently at 100%, 100% direct dynamic resolution, which is technically the DLAA, where it's you're doing your native resolution, but you're using DLSS to anti-alias. And just to show you guys a little bit deeper how it works, like if we scroll this over to the side, see at 100, 100, it says our image is 4K going into 4K, no upscaling happening, right? So if we switch to 66, you'll see it actually dropped to that of a 1440p image. Yeah, it's 1440p being multiplied, uh, I guess, 1.5 times into 4K. And you'll see that if we go any lower, right, this is technically, so, uh, if 100 and 100 is DLAA, then 66 is going to be the quality mode, 50% is going to be the balance, and then 33% is going to be the performance. So looking at uh, 66 is pretty good. That's what I normally play at, just so I could have as close to 90 frames, maybe a little bit more if possible. But 50%, you'll see it's taking a 1080p image and upscaling that to 4K. But the weird thing about FS7 is it actually tanks the image quality quite a lot with the way that they handle this. And uh, if you go even lower than that, 33% is going to be 720p. And this basically is kind of similar. This actually kind of looks better than what the PlayStation 5's first launch demo with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth looked like. Cloud's hair is all kinds of... Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that, that is what it is. And I'll tell you right now, if you put DLSS 4 into this game, which we're going to do later, and then you go down to 33%, it's going to look exactly the same. The differences in quality are not really that noticeable when it comes to final fantasy 7 rebirth and it's just the way that they use dlss any other game any other game that you use dlss for in which you can do this method in by the way you'll absolutely be able to see the difference between performance mode in 4 versus quality in dlss 3 and i highly recommend you guys still check it out see what works best for you if you enjoy it by all means rock with it now this is how you install it first things first before you get started let's back up some files go into final fantasy 7 rebirth's uh steam location go to manage gonna go browse local files and inside of here we're gonna go into engine plugins dlss subset binaries third party win 64 and this file right here for you guys that are watching this it'll probably be the dlss 3 file uh just make a copy of this right copy put it somewhere on your desktop keep it safe so we're actually gonna leave this window open and i'm gonna be linking this website down below dlss swapper has a link on github we're gonna click on this right here to download it the latest version which is well it was released three days ago that was when dlss4 kind of dropped right so you're going to download the installer and uh when you install that get it up and running we're not going to get started just yet we're also going to download another program called nvidia profile inspector this is what's going to make it so that the game that it is that you're selecting will be utilizing dlss4 and to do that we have to actually change some presets you can do it globally across the board so no worries it'll work it should work just fine what we're going to do is we're going to go click on nvpi revamped that's going to be linked as well down below you're going to download the zip file for this so these are the two files we just downloaded guys we're going to be download we're going to install the dlss swapper you're going to click on it and install it on your c drive it's a really quick easy installation shouldn't be too crazy and don't boot that up just yet now we're going to install nvpi Double click this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this profile inspector revamped and you're gonna drag it to your desktop. And also I would take these two right here just so we can visually see if DLSS4 was activated, the disable and the enable. So I'm gonna take both of those. I'm gonna put it in the same folder as well. And let's open it up, make sure that went in there. It did. Okay, we're pretty much good to go. So now we're gonna open up DLSS Swapper 
And it's a pretty cool program. It actually has a really solid interface, kind of like Epic Games and, and what Netflix for gaming would look like technically. And it tells you, this is basically the library of all the games you have installed on your rig currently. And it tells you which DLSS is currently embedded within it. So you can see some games uh, are listed with it. Some games aren't. RE4, I did mod it into there, but it doesn't showcase that here. Uh, but like Witcher, for example, just got an update for DLSS 4 and all that stuff and you can see that my final fantasy 7 rebirth is already updated it's the 310 that's the latest dlss or that actually uh is with the game essentially this is what that program looks like so uh we're gonna click on this library icon right here and this is the dlss library you can actually roll back and go and get all kinds of different ones even fsr is in here and xess but what we're gonna do is download the latest dlss you're gonna click the download icon it's not showing up there for me because i already downloaded it and once it's downloaded, you're going to click this export and uh, choose a location you want to save it. I'm going to save it on my desktop just to keep things a little bit safer. And so we're done with DLSS Swapper. We actually don't need it anymore. So now we have this file, the zip file that has DLSS uh, 4 in it. And it's going to be, you see, it's the same exact name as the other one. So we're going to copy this. And now we're going to go into the Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth file that we uh kept open from earlier that's again that's in final fantasy 7 rebirth's base folder in steam we're gonna go to engine plugins dlss subset binaries third party win 64 and this right here we're gonna be pasting it in there it's gonna, uh, it's gonna say hey do you sure you want to do this you want to replace this i'm gonna say yes because i mean it's the same file it's no big deal for me uh and there we go we can actually close that out now now we're going to go into the nv profile inspector revamp that we downloaded and installed and you're going to go down to this program right here well actually first let's enable dlss ui so this is going to let you know when you boot up a game what dlss you're currently running so you're going to click yes okay nothing's going to change right now you'll only see this pop up whenever you're playing a game so we're going to go into nvidia profile inspector so globally, I already went ahead and changed this for every game because I would like for every game that has the capabilities to run the newest DLSS, well, might as well do it, right? So SR preset under DLSS overrides, we're gonna click on this right there and you're gonna go down to preset K. Uh, you'll see L, M, N, and O already there. Don't worry about that. These are just, they're not in use. So there's no point in doing that right now. The main focus is for DLSS 4, our presets J, and K rebirth by default already came enabled with preset J, but we could also do preset K. And then when you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and click apply changes on the top right here. It's going to save and you should be all squared away and good to go. Don't have any, don't need to change anything else going forward. But if you want to see what it looks like, you can go down and click on a different game. I'm going to go to Marvel rivals, which should be here. Why? Oh, this is always weird. It has the rivals and the launcher. So I'm just going to go to launcher and you'll see it's already set uh to the the preset is under preset k and that's for the super resolution preset by the way i'm using a 30 series card so i can't take advantage of frame generation but if you have frame generation you're going to want to well in frame generation capable games you can always go ahead and uh change this to work with the latest one for you but you'll see that because you did it globally it'll already take effect on all those other games i even actually added ff7 rebirth 2 here just to double check and there you go preset k has been selected for it so we're all squared away, good to go. Shouldn't need to do anything else, and we could actually close that out. So now we're gonna minimize this. All right, now I booted up into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and you guys can see on the bottom left corner of the screen, it does say render preset is set to K. By default, it might already be switched to K for you because I noticed that with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, with the previous DLSS 4 update that we were able to get about a week and a half ago, it was already set to J. So it might already be set to K for you guys, but I just wanted to show you that's how you go about doing that for this game and essentially all games across the board for your rig. And it also says on the bottom that uh, we're using the DLSS V310, which is the latest one. Now in Rebirth, I will admit you won't notice a crazy difference at first. I just straight up, I mean, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong, it looks great, but it's not that huge of a difference from what it was with the way that this game uses DLSS, you know, like it's still going to be um, a really solid representation. Uh, yeah, so just going to be roaming around, show you a quick little glimpse of what it looks like. I personally, I really want to have frames over 60 at all times. And with my 3090 playing in 4K, I can't really get that if I'm trying to run the game at 100, 100 in, uh, dynamic resolution. So the best way for me is to go with 66 and it honestly looks just as great. 
There's some really weird issues with hair every now and then, but as you get closer, it kind of it kind of fixes itself after a bit. But 66, I'm getting almost 85 frames in certain scenes and whatnot, so I generally I generally like it. Man, this game is fun. <laughs> And there you go, that's DLSS 4 in Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Now you can take the same DLSS file, right? You can take the same DLSS file and put it in the game like Marvel Rivals. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll go down to uh, Steam and right click. Uh, we're going to go to Browse Local Files. And we can do the same exact thing, actually. So in this one, you're going to click Marvel Game. You're going to go to Engine. We're going to go to Plugins. And Marketplace is where you'll change DLSS. So we'll take the same... See, it's the same exact file. We'll take the same DLSS in this way. Yeah, we just drag it in there and replace it. And then you would do the same thing where you go into Profile Inspector and check Marvel Rivals to make sure that it's running on the right one. Now, if you have a 40 series card or a 50 series card and you want to take advantage of frame generation in a game that's provided with your card, you, you could actually do that as well. You could download the latest frame generation technology and use it in the same exact way. So the way we'll do that is we'll go back to Engine, we'll go to Plugins, Inside of the same marketplace folder, we're going to go into marketplace and you're going to see this option called streamline binaries and inside of here is frame generation. And the reason the reason why you'll know it is that is because it says DLSS G, the G is for the frame generation capabilities. My card can't utilize it, so there's no point in me changing that. But if you wanted to change that, you would go into DLSS swapper, you go to library. You go down to frame generation here and you'll click this download option right and we'll do the same thing we'll save it to the desktop and you'll see it says dlss g and i would throw that in there and it would replace it and there you go now i have the uh the multi frame generation capabilities but my card can't really utilize that it's a 30 series but that is how you would do dlss 4 in essentially majority of the games that are capable of doing it right now if you guys are running into any issues please comment them down below and also i have a tutorial already on how to install amd fsr into final fantasy 7 rebirth as well as xcss which aren't included in the game by default i'll be linking that down below in the description for you guys to check that out and time stamping it so you guys can get it installed properly i'm sorry i almost forgot to mention it as well so on the bottom left corner of the screen that shows you what dlss you're currently running in that game you can actually disable it by clicking the disable dlss ui registry so we'll click on that click run yes yes okay and it should be disabled for you guys and while you guys are at it go ahead and secure your copy of final fantasy 7 rebirth today if you haven't yet i know a lot of you guys watching this already have the game but uh it's on a really good sale right now man 40 dollars and 22 cents is really a good deal as well as 51 dollars for the deluxe edition and the twin pack at 55 bucks take advantage of this guys i'll be linking this down below and not only that uh monster hunter wilds which is actually getting a beta dropping this week the game is super cheap right now if you look at the base steam listing for it on instant gaming 55 dollars for this game is kind of nuts because if you go over here 69 dollars yeah 69 dollars no discount right now you can pre-purchase it but 69 dollars 89 dollars and 109 dollars whereas if you go to instant gaming I mean, guys, $55, $86 for the premium deluxe edition. And then you got the deluxe edition for $71. So go figure. Really fantastic deals. Take full advantage of that. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if this really helped you out. I love Instant Gaming. Been using them for quite some time. So really do appreciate this partnership we have with them on the channel. And my priority is, of course, to make sure that you guys watching this get the best possible deals in gaming all across the board. No matter what what title it is that you're playing, no matter what platform it is, I want to make sure that we get you guys the best deal possible. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Final Fantasy VII Rebirth videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.